pretty ridiculous how many red light therapy devices I own at this point. So I'm using my, this is called the BioQuant LED by Pro Neurolight. And it's an intranasal red light therapy device. I know I look ridiculous right now. And um, <laughs> there you go. I've got red light going into one nostril. Um, infrared light in the other nostril and I know this looks totally ridiculous now um, the reason why I got this device and why it helps you for sleep um, I'll start with why I got the device I got this device because I was dealing with long-haul COVID symptoms so I woke up one day with no smell or taste and I thought I'd go away within days four months later I was fed up I was frustrated I was honestly freaking out and I was desperate for answers and I came across red light therapy. Eventually I came across an expert in red and infrared light. His name is Jody Duro, Dr. Jody Duro. And uh, he taught me about intranasal PBM, photobiomodulation. So the way it works, and I've done a whole podcast on this with Joe. If you want to learn more, I'm just going to summarize the benefits the way that this device works and that intranasal PBM works is it shines light directly to the brain uh, through the, um, well, nasal passage, right? And uh, the olfactory bulb. And um, it has a host of benefits. So first and foremost, you know, most of you guys tuning in at this point, you're familiar with red and infrared as having a vasodilatory effect, so increasing nitric oxide. So it's a potent vasodilator. It dilates the arteries dilates the blood vessels and helps promote blood flow. So, you know, blood contains oxygen, it contains nutrients. And when you promote blood flow in the brain, you can start to, well, promote the recovery process um, after something like, you know, an infection when there's inflammation. And it's this inflammation in the in, in the olfactory bulb and in the nasal passage, uh, primarily in the olfactory bulb, that presses up against the nerves and takes away your sense of smell and taste, right? So, Basically, we're shining light up there, opening things up, promoting blood flow. And that's really helpful. The next thing that it, that this is helpful for, and the next me- mechanism by which it can um, support long haul COVID symptoms, is that it promotes a flow in cerebral spinal fluid, and you can actually set this device to a frequency. All right, let's see. There we go. Oh wow, that's beautiful. So notice that I have the frequency set up. So I can set it up to different frequencies and, you know, 12, 15, 24 minutes. Anyway, the point is that this actually helps you achieve uh, a variety of different brainwave states that we know influence your uh, cognition, they influence your mental acuity, they can help put you in meditative states, they can help promote uh, deep sleep. So... Uh, what I do is at night, I put it on a pretty low frequency uh, stage to promote uh, delta and theta brain waves. And so this is a way to help get that deep sleep, especially when your nasal passage is compromised and you can't nasal breathe, which automatically puts you in a more parasympathetic state. So anyway, it's dilating that area. You have more blood flow, more oxygen, you can breathe better. You can support this parasympathetic state. You're in a delta and theta brainwave state and you're promoting a flow in cerebral spinal fluid. And as a result, you get this um, drainage uh, through the, ol- uh, not the olfactory, uh, actually, no, it is through the olfactory bulb of, um, well, all this crap that accumulates in the brain with this infection and this inflammation. And so what, what I noticed when I first started using this is... Man, within the first one or two days, I started. To, I thought it, I, I didn't know what was wrong because I wasn't educated at the time with the influence that this had, and I was getting this drainage of stuff through my nose, like all this mucus coming out through the nose, and I was like, "What the hell is happening?" And again, is because this had such a potent um, effect that it was quite literally allowing all this crap to leave my brain and my nasal passage, and. Within two days, I got my sense of smell and taste back using this device. And now I use it because it has really powerful um, brain-enhancing effects. It's really good for sleep. And um, 
yeah, it just keeps things clean and clear. Um, so this is not an ad. This is just an appreciation for all kinds of red light, both the LEDs that I have in the back, whose influence I just described on my uh, quality of sleep. And then we've got another type of red light that's down there, which is similar to what I have in my nose, but you know, it's the more traditional sort of red and infrared light therapy, which I'll turn on in a second to show you guys what it looks like. One sec. So all kinds of red light in here in my home. Anyway, uh, so with respect to, with respect, um, uh, to the, uh, proneural light, the intranasal PBM. Uh, for those of you who want to learn more, like I said, uh, definitely check out Dr. Jody Duro's work. And then you can also check out um, Toby Pasman. He is uh, Neuroflex on Instagram and pretty much anywhere else. That's N-U-R-O Flex. And he's a you know board certified um, neurofeedback expert. Um, he does a lot of work with intranasal photobiomodulation so he can speak intelligently on behalf of all these benefits and mechanisms by which they are effective um and yeah that's how i use red light to sleep better at night so hope that this helps take care you guys